Kitty Cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Kittens go diving. One day, Daddy took the Kitty Cats to visit their grandpa, who worked and lived in a lighthouse. Hey there, my kittens. Hi, Hi Grandpa. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, my boy. You can just head off to the factory, and we're going to have a fun time. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Ocean's very calm today, which is great because we'll all be able to go swimming underwater. What is Grandpa talking about, going underwater? How's that gonna work? I don't see a submarine around. Hey, hey! So, are you ready? It's scuba diving time! Wait, it's what time? Diving time! We're going scuba diving underwater! <gasps> but how will we breathe, Grandpa? You're going to have special containers with air in them. How are we going to see underwater, Grandpa? With special underwater masks. But won't moving be hard? Nope. You'll have flippers for that. Along with these swanky special rubber outfits. Scuba diving takes a lot of stuff. Why swim underwater at all? It's awfully wet down there. We're looking for a beautiful, precious, special seashell over near that rock. Last huh? one in's a rotten hairball. Come on! <gasps> Kittens, I'm waiting. Let's go! <sighs> Under the water, the kittens felt like they were light as a feather. <laughs> A sea monster bit my tail. <laughs> Pudding, it's only a little crab. It's no big deal. Come back in. Nah, I think I've had enough of diving, Grandpa. Know what, Pudding? You're right. I'm with you. If I'm underwater, I'll never get a tan. Well, fine then. I'll just find that beautiful groovy shell all by myself. <laughs> Later, the kittens were using Grandpa's binoculars to look all around. Wow, look at the mountains there, with all those little birds. Hey, let me see. And me! Paws off! Get Give em. Em. I'm not done! <gasps> oh. oh no! Grandpa's gonna be furious! <laughs> I have a really good idea! We could go scuba diving for them. <laughs> that is a great idea. Jump in. Grandpa kept an eye on the kitty cats, pleased as punch that they were realizing how awesome diving could be. You like diving after all? It's great. Look what we found. I found some really awesome treasure. And I found this pretty shell. Oh, that is exactly the kind of shell that I was hoping to find. I should be taking scuba diving lessons from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa, why were you looking for a seashell like that? What does it do? Why, this shell has the sound of the whole ocean inside it. So beautiful. Mm. There, put it to your ear. Scuba diving is not a simple thing to do, but the kitty cats learned that if you stick with it, you can find some truly wonderful things. Let's learn new things with kitty cats.
Choose a topic and let's learn. The art gallery. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend Mustard. Hey, hey there, there, Mustard! <laughs> oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest eclair in the history of the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. Hum. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right, first you go straight ahead past the square cat, go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the thinking cat. Right past him is the cafeteria, and in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! Mom. Can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now! Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, uh, was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on! He's really funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there! Ah! <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called The Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the Muna Lisa. Oh, what's that this? must be the thinking cat over there. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! The eclairs! Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <gasps> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. <laughs> they use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then could you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs. Because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hard-working artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are you up to in here? Oh, it's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kittens, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs were a work of art. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. A muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here. You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dibs on first try, yeah! <laughs> no! What 
Watch out, Cookie! The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh. Huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. Hey, let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Do you have any better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. <laughs> What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> 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 oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud! Now I'm even dirtier! <laughs> Well, since we're already completely dirty, I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh, I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. 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 oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> the washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. Then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. Baby tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. Oh, I think my tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just oh. losing what are called baby teeth, darling. When your baby teeth fall out, different ones begin to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. See? Look at it! All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. 
When my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. Awesome! I want a present from the Tooth Fairy. That sounds super great. Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> huh? Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask and plucked and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy, let's open wide. Ah. Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the tooth fairy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Hmm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Watch the sweets. Brush and floss twice a day. And then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Huh? Pudding? Have you seen my shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First, I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. 
There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys! Whoa! Who let that bird fly away with my car keys? Oh, 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 oh. Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. Ah. Whistle. Ah. My keys and spoon, yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Ghosts! One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid, Candy. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Imagining 
things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Cookie and pudding? Were you pretending to be ghosts this whole time? That's right. Oh, admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice, clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's uh, a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> Oh, my kitty, I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? Daddy! Oh, <laughs> I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Bee-wow, 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 bee-wow! <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. The Little Things in Life one day, the kitty cat family decided to visit Grandpa. You'll go paddling with Grandpa this afternoon, and after we'll have extra yummy treats for tea. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, I need to help Daddy in the kitchen. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. That means we have more time to play. Okay, think fast. Daddy was talking to Grandpa on the phone. We'll bring our inflatable kayak over for a little paddling. Excellent. I'll gather some strawberries for tea. Don't bother with little things like that, Dad. I'm bringing one of my famous cheese pies for tea. Okay. I can't wait to see you all. It's gone back by 15 minutes. Righto. The inflatable kayak. Check. Paddles. Fishing rods, and most important of all, your life jackets. Hmm. And just enough time to make sure the pie gets baked through. We need to make the time right again. I'll hit it again. That'll make it move back. That didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's just a little thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody looks at clocks anymore. They get the time on their phone. Let's play. Honey, something's burning. This doesn't make any sense at all. According to the living room clock, uh -huh. this pie should have stayed in the oven for 15 more minutes at least. Uh -huh. hmm. It's all right. We'll bring Grandpa some jam instead of the pie. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh. Well, bye-bye, Jam. Oh, dear. We need to clean up this broken glass. Quick, we need to beat the traffic to get to Grandpa's on time. Ah, uh, 
I forgot to secure it to the roof because I was thinking about the jam. Daddy had to go back to get the boat and secure it to the roof. While he did, the traffic got worse. Uh, this might take a while. Family, what took you all so long? Hello. Hello. Hello, Grandpa. Hi there, Pa. We're a bit later than we expected to be, but I think we still have time for some paddling. I'm afraid not. By the time we get the boat blown up, the sun will have set. This really is not our lucky day. We're sorry. This is all our fault. We accidentally knocked the clock and moved the hand so the time changed. We thought it wasn't a big deal. But because of what we thought was a little thing, a bunch of other things went wrong. Like the pie being cooked too long and burning. Ah. And because of that, Mommy had to bring jam instead, and all the jars broke. And cleaning up the mess in broken jars made Daddy forget to secure the kayak right. And going back for the kayak made us stuck in traffic. One little mistake with the clock messed everything up. Now it's no paddling pie or jam. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Let's pay more attention to the little things. Excellent advice, kittens. The little things in life are often the most important of all. We can paddle some other time. Don't you worry. As for yummy things to eat, how about fresh strawberries? Strawberries! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Good thing that Grandpa still decided to gather some strawberries. And the kittens realized that even a small thing can have a big effect. Like little strawberries brightening up a frustrating day. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves just like this one. <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark, but very exciting. Hey, hey. Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes. And they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> uh, Huh? Uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here. I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything, really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Oh. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> 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 Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right, be back soon. That was your mommy, telling us it's time to head home. 
She has your lunch ready. Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no, we're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Packing a bag! One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, towel, shower cap, soap, and bath sponge, hair dryer! <laughs> We have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. <laughs> right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates and forks, spoons and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. <laughs> Great! What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. But uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh... Oh! I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Oh. 
<gasps> Hooray! I found the ticket! <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, but now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. Space Adventure! One evening, it was snowing so hard that the kittens had to stay in. So bored. We have to find something to do. But what, though? Hey, look! The snow kind of looks like falling stars. Let's imagine we're floating in space. Oh. Awesome. Listen up. We're going on a cosmic adventure. All right. We'll fly with the stars. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Well, there's no gravity in space, so we should be floating. Ha, great idea. Let's do it. Gosh, trying to float is really hard. I'm getting worn out fighting gravity. Whew. Then why don't we build a spaceship to fly around in? The kittens used Mommy's yarn box as the ship's body. Then they found some card to use as wings and gathered a funnel, a whisk, and some bagels and stuck them all onto the box. Finally, their spaceship was ready to fly. This is your space captain speaking. Prepare yourselves for takeoff. Space navigator here, ready to take off, sir. Spaceship, uh, uh, mechanic? Starting up the engine, sir. Uh, uh we're, we're flying! flying. <laughs> <laughs> Comet storm directly ahead, sir. Oh. Oh. Space monsters! Oh. Oh. Mommy! Daddy! We thought that you were alien space monsters! <laughs> what have you crazy kittens been doing? Oh, we're just having a big space adventure. It looks more like a big woolly mess. You'd better start sorting it out. It's almost your bedtime. But what about our super cool spaceship? This is our life's work, this ship. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, please. This is Mission Control calling Astro Kittens. I have an important mission that only the best kittens can handle. This space debris must be cleaned up quick, or else it might crash into the cat colony. Do you copy? Over. Loud and clear. The Astro Kitties accept the mission. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with all these comets? We'll transport them to Planet Cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen floor asteroid field! Let's put them back into their proper drawers. Uh, I mean, back into orbit. <laughs> Look at these paper meteors. Oh no, they're scattered everywhere. Let's get them to the space station library. Wow, look at them go. And all of this icky space litter needs to be thrown into the garbage bag black hole. Whoa, that's, that's a, a lot, lot of space, of space garbage. garbage. I know what has to be done. We have to take it on a spacewalk outside. It's cold out in space. You'll all need your spacesuits. <laughs> it's a bunch of weird space monsters. <laughs> nah, it's just us, Daddy. We've totally completed our mission. 
That's just great. It's time to get ready for bed. Then I'll come tell you a story about the cosmos. Including three astro kitties. So, so awesome! awesome. Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow. Mommy and Daddy made a very special starry sky in the kitten's room. And the kittens listened to their dad's Astro Kitty stories and looked forward to dreams that would be out of this world. Daddy Daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey! Oh! Ow! Ow! Hey! Oh! Ow! Oh! 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 Or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, wake up! <laughs> Yay! Here, Mommy, Daddy, all day long. Uh, yeah, all right. Come with Mommy, Daddy. Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. <laughs> That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills up for Bobby. Uh huh. <sniffs> ah. And now let's watch TV for a while. Oh. As we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> the kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show, while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine <laughs> and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh! Oh. There's something burning in the kitchen! Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles! Oh, gosh! Stop! 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 Uh, uh, the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Uh, <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. <sighs> Mommy, Mommy, you're, you're back! back. <laughs> Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent Daddy like me? It was like Daddy had turned into Mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So, so awesome! awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy. 
But everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again.